swimming is very particular for timekeeping. Swimming time and so on. is the only sport at Commonwealth Games where the athletes would stop their times themselves. Mm -hmm. We have this backstroke ledge, which is fixed on the starting block. And the athletes can then adjust the setting yeah. and the height uh, themselves. So you have that little device here that is used uh, by the starters to start the race. So there's one little button where it's written speak. The starter would be able to give a start command, so it acts as a microphone. Pushing the other button, you would hear the, the gunshot or the little sound um, that is connected to the sound system of the, of the stadium. And in the back of the starting blocks, there is a little loudspeaker, so all the athletes would hear the gunshot at the same time. The first measurement is done with the reaction time. Then come on, you can come a little closer. And there's a little sensor in the back of the starting block that measures the release pressure of the athletes and gives the reaction time. So that's the first measurement that we do. And then <clears throat> we have the touch pads. So the athletes would have to push between two and a half and three kilos to stop their own times. And they need to push these two and a half to three kilos in order to avoid that the waves that they produce while they swim is stopping the time instead of themselves. Uh, and it's a very light touch. It's, um, it's, it's, it's very easy. And they can touch everywhere on the pad. It goes on the water, they can touch on the water or above the water on the pool. Uh, white of the uh, of the pad, it would stop the time.